Hey, we're FightFan.com here with Zab Judah in Calgary. I'm looking forward to having some uh, a fun time here and um, just experiencing uh, what, what Calgary has to offer. How do you feel your career about your career at this point? I mean, have you done everything you you wanted to accomplish? Um, I've accomplished everything that I want to. Um, I still have more goals, one more goal, and um, I want to be a seven-time champion of the world. And, um, Striving for it. I turned 40 years old, October 27. And um, what motivates me is that with a 22 year long career, I still can go to the gym and keep up with the young boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that while I'm able to still go in there and um, my defense is still sharp, my jab is still crispy, you know what I mean? My left hand is still powerful. Um, I didn't lose anything, I don't lack anything, so I'm, I'm out well just keep going. I mean, this is what I love to do. Yeah. This is what I've always done for my whole life, and I'm, I'm just gonna finish up strong. What's been some of your greatest fights that you that you thought, that you performed your best, or that are most memorable to you? Um, I would say all of them are memorable. All, all of them is, um, every time I step in the ring, it's, um, it's special, it's, um, it's um, dear to my heart. Um, I would say, you know, I have uh, favorite ones, of accomplishing great goals. Um, my second fight with Corey Spinks. Yeah, I was gonna say, Corey Spinks fight, that was in great. In St. Louis, that was phenomenal. Um, fighting the legendary, the always great Mickey Ward. You know right, saying? Yeah. Fighting him at a young age. Um, fighting um, boxing the greatest today, uh, Floyd, with, I mean, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Right, yeah. And um, you know, that was always great. Um, training with Pernell Whitaker. Yeah, because you know, I almost said Floyd Whitaker. <laughs> that was funny. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny though. But um, yeah, you know, training with Pernell, um, traveling the world and fighting on Mike Tyson undercards. Yeah, just so much great stuff, man. Just so much great stuff. And uh, 22 years later, I'm still here. I'm still smart. Um, I still have all of my faculties. Yeah, I'm still able to conduct life and business for myself, and I'm just happy. The, the Corey Spinks fights. I mean, I know, you know. I was I was so happy to see you in the second fight. I mean, that was such yeah. a great performance, man. Yeah. Like, did you? I mean, did you just feel after the first fight that you you were gonna go back in there and and just take it? I mean, just well, I'm, I mean, you know, um, Corey Spinks is a phenomenal boxer. He has tremendous boxing ability. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the first fight, he came in there and displayed an excellent boxing skill. But in the 12th round, when I dropped him. I kind of felt something. I, I said, "Whoa! I think I can knock this guy out." Yeah. You know, and I mean, and it's no, it's no disrespect to him. It's just something that a boxer gets. You know, what I'm yeah, something yeah. that something that a, a, a fighter knows. Like when I hit him, and I was like, "Oh wow! I can knock him out." Like if I had another shot, I probably could get it done. So I begged for the rematch. You know, Don yeah. King gave me every hellhole civilization <laughs> that can happen. You got fight in his hometown, his backyard. You know, everything was for Corey Spinks. That night was designed for Corey Spinks. Yeah. And I trained like an animal. Yeah. I trained like it was no tomorrow. And I just felt it. You did. I mean, you, you looked like a man on a mission. I mean, yeah. like, you know, it just seemed like that your confidence level had, had just yeah. increased so I much. mean, I don't think that it had nothing to, to do with Corey Spinks' ability. Yeah. With the lack, that, that he was lacking anything. It was just my night. You know how yeah. it's just that. Yeah. It was like one of the nights that Jordan had, like when yeah. he was on. It was like I don't care who you put in front of him, he's not gonna, you know. And I think that that, you know, that night in St. Louis, I had one of those Jordan, one of those Jordan nights. You're talking about the Mickey Ward fight. I yeah. mean, I, you know, Mickey Ward's a guy that you know I, I haven't really thought about much in a while, but I mean, he's one of my favorite fighters. Oh, yeah, he's a great, great, like, you know, great, great competitor. Um, he hit me with a body shot. I was like in the seventh or eighth round. That made me second guess boxing. Really. <laughs> Not my he, career. He's, he's got he's got just yes, a wicked left yes, hook right yes, to the body. Yes. He he uh, hit me with it, and um, I was debating on what to do. <laughs> you go watch the tapes a hundred times over and over, and you know the shot is coming. And there is like there there, there is no special defense for it. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you never know how he's gonna place it. And you know he just you know it's it's, it's a punch that's still signed and delivered by Mickey Ward. There's nothing yeah. nobody can do about that's it. True, you know that's what true. That's true. So. But you, you know, I prepared myself with thousands of setups. <laughs> you know, even that, even with that preparation, he still landed it. It landed solid. You know, what I mean, with the will of God, I was able to uh, withstand it. Right. You know, put together a game plan and come back and pull out the fight. Thanks for taking the time. I can't wait. You bet, man. Calgary, what's up? <laughs>